Okay, so I just had a comment on my latest video. It was from Riley Davies. Uh, Hello, I saw a comment on ETA's latest Zoom video about something called PyApps from BotSpot. It is similar to PyKiss. I took a look at it and it looks pretty cool. I don't know if you've heard of it already, but I think you should check it out. It definitely looks really cool. Uh, So it's on GitHub and uh, I'll put a link in the description to this. Uh, And it looks like you just have to put a bit of script in so to install PyApps. So let's give this a try. Open a terminal, paste that in. Okay, so now we need to install it, so hit return. So hit yes. Okay, installation complete. Uh, It says it's under menu and accessories. And there it is, this one here with the cube. Belena Etcher, that's nice to see because Belena Etcher isn't an easy one to get on a system if it's not already there. I've seen lots of people do it in different builds, like Munka puts it in. It's also added to Twister OS as well. So what have we got? We've got a list of apps here. Can we get that bigger? Yeah, so we've got Zoom, which was in ETA Prime's video, um, but it looks like you can do that. Oh, Windows 10 theme actually from this as well, TBO player. Python Power GUI for OMX Player with YouTube functionality. Sonic Pi, write code to make music. RetroPie, uh, Raspi 2 PNG takes a screenshot of the frame buffer. Pi Power Tools, easily edit Raspberry Pi image files with a suite of useful tools. PyKiss, interesting that it installs PyKiss because PyKiss is, uh, is also an installer in itself, an excellent installer. Minecraft Java. I mean, that's amazing to have on there. I've done videos on how to install that before, and there's quite a few steps. So that automates the whole process. That's excellent. Minecraft Bedrock, FreeCAD, Email Checker, Discord, Cura. Takes a 3D model and slices it for use in a 3D printer. Cool Retro Term, simulates an old CRT menu. Conkey, monitors CPU, RAM, disk usage, and more. Commander Pi, that's also one that doesn't show up on normal app stores. And people have asked me how to install that before, so that'll be really interesting. Uh, Color Emoji Font, installs two fonts to display nearly all the emojis ever made in full color. Chromium Media Edition, excellent to see that in there. Boxy, uh, feature rich vector graphics SVG editor. Belena Etra, as I mentioned, and Arduino as well. I mean, this is just amazing. So let's, what do we do? Tick on it. So I just double clicked on Belena Etcher and it's come up with an install icon. So let's hit install. I don't have Belena Etcher on here already. As you can see, I've got GPI, PyKiss and USB Imager. So, uh, and I'll also have under accessories, Raspberry Pi Imager. So I'll have three images on here now. Okay, so that's done. So let's go back. I've just been reading, while it was installing, I've just been reading about it. Uh, so we go to details. Mind reading is not a supported app. You didn't select an app. <laughs> nice. Uh, so there was a preferences option. Where was that? So PyApp settings can be configured by launching menu, preferences, PyApp settings, menu, preferences, PyApp settings. Uh, here we go. Let's check for updates daily. Debug mode. Preferred text editor, reinstall after update, show edit button. Wow, this is amazing. Really, really good. So what else? Let's do Commander Pi as well while I'm at it. Hit install. Okay, so that was really quick. Uh, So let's close down all of these and let's have a look at both the apps to see they're all up and running. Close down this. So, oh, Commander Pi puts it on the desktop, look. So... Let's execute in terminal. Yeah, so working normally as it should. So that adds overclocking to standard Raspberry Pi OS. Really good to see. And various other things in the Commander Pi. I've gone through that in other videos. So let's also see uh, Belena Etcher. Yeah, Belena Etcher. Excellent. So the Pi just keeps getting better and better. So let's have a look 
and see what it says about what operating systems it works with. Obviously this is Raspberry Pi OS, so that means it will work with Twister OS as well. So at the bottom here it says, why did you develop Pi apps? For a long time I've been saddened by how few people are aware of open source RPI, Raspberry Pi software projects. Many of these projects are extremely useful and beneficial, but there has never been a good way to distribute them. The repositories don't host them, and they usually aren't advertised very well. So how will people find them? Most people will never find them. One day I realized, why not make my own app store that specializes in all the community Raspberry Pi software projects out there? It will help more users find the software, and at the same time it will provide a simple way to install them. Which would you rather do, click a shiny install button or manually type 11 commands? Yeah, I agree. About two weeks of non-stop coding, but it was fun, but excruciating at the same time. So I still need to find out what OSs it works with. So does it work with other Linux things on the Raspberry Pi? Yeah, it doesn't seem to list whether it works with Ubuntu or anything like that, so I'll have a play around with that. Okay, so thanks very much to BotSpot for creating this. It's a great program. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.